see if there's something you can do with your teachers to redesign how they present their slides. I'm also a big fan of non-verbal signals, particularly for vulnerable students, but also to support reducing that cognitive load. Here are two uh, examples here. What's the difference? Seven times something equals 28. That's version one. Version two, seven times something equals 28. What's the difference? Here it is again. Version one, seven times something equals 28. Version two, seven times something equals 28. Can you spot the difference? So the difference is the double tap. Seven times something equals 28. To add more fuel or more support to the students, what I need to do is rather than you see the back of my head, I turn to face you seven times something equals 28. And I offer even more nonverbal data to support the key piece of information that we want to find out. So these small tweaks, tap, tap, looking at the student, speaking slowly, allow them to lip read seven times something. These small signals can also reduce cognitive load and support retention. The key question that I always pose is, as teachers, we have a choice. We can either hinder or support the teaching and learning with small micro decisions that really enhance teaching and learning. Here's how I can hinder your learning. Here